Hey, 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 everybody. It is Thursday, January 28th, 2021. And we are still in the full moon in Leo. Thank you for everyone who participated in the community ritual last night. I'm truly grateful. Thank you for fucking with me. Thank you for holding me down. But another great, amazing thing is today is my other half's birthday. Uh, most of you guys know him as DJ J Tech. I love you, babe. Happy birthday. And thank you for everything you've done for me, the kids, and always holding me down. If it wasn't for this guy, if it wasn't for my husband, I wouldn't be doing this at a thousand percent. He holds me down in every other area when I need to be focused doing this work, working with spirit and working with the community. So shout out on deck. We're going to be doing a card of the day, a focus on attention of the next 24 to 40 hours as directed by spirit. This is not a reading. A reading is an intimate discussion between you and a spiritual advisor of your choice, hopefully led by your intuition. Because as I always say, your intuition is your superpower. And everyone's born intuitive. Not everyone listens to their intuition. Now, with that being said, we're going to be doing a card of the day from the Sacred Symbols Oracle. All right. So, literally, we got cards here and some cards here. They're not playing around. So, this is hilarious because there's four cards. And they're not fucking around. This is the Sacred Symbols Oracle deck by Marcella Kroll. I have been using her other ones as well. She has several decks, but check this out. The first card that fell out of the deck, there's four. So the area of intention is going to be kind of powerful. The four, first card is literally called the full moon. Can't make this shit up. The second card is psychic. The third card is safe travels. And the fourth card is the full the new moon so i like how this is going into a span basically a cycle because there's a full moon and then there's a new moon and today literally is the full moon in leo you can't get any more clear than that spirit ain't fucking playing i'm just so hyped if you guys follow me on instagram at readings by vida you'll see my husband's stuff so his presence and stuff like that so i'm just hyped because i guess today's a great day so the full moon is the first card that fell out let's see what the full moon has to say and the full moon tells us I, again, I'm just bamboozled with how spirit always does this. My spirit gets it. My higher self understands it. My human little brain be like, how the fuck did that happen? All right. Full moon, a ceremony, culmination, or a completion of a cycle in time. There is magic here. The full moon has the power to magnify your dreams. It can also take anything that is not in alignment with them. So if you start losing things, if you start stopping, stop talking to people, if you separate yourself from certain situations or a job or a community or even a neighborhood, it doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It's because this is a completion of a cycle. You don't need it anymore. And be open to the magic and the wonders of all things. Meditate or perform a ritual of the full moon to draw in more of a powerful feminine receptive energy into your life, projects, and rituals. And as you know, we did the full moon and Leo community ritual last night. I do community rituals for every full moon and every new moon if you're interested you can go to the website thealmightypineapple.com under services and check out when i post them if you follow me on instagram at readings by vida you'll always see me posting on that as well and also my backup page at the almighty pineapple llc you'll see the products and also other services as well so the symbol is called the full moon and it says the full moon is a powerful time for harvesting creating magic and worshiping the divine feminine a beautiful and unique part of our solar system and the moon affects the tides of the oceans and has been worshipped by many ancient cultures i am a huge moon follower so there you go so after the full moon, your intuition increases. Like people start acting weird during a full moon. They say people get crazy in the full moon. No, people are more in tune with the intuition and the vibes, which goes into our second card, which is called psychic. And psychic says intuition, empath, empathic gifts, psychic visions, prophecy, and powerful dreaming are all present at this time. Correlates directly with the full moon. You now have access to a greater wisdom beyond what the human eye can see. This is a time of great awakening. New psychic abilities and gifts come to you now. See the sacredness in your visions. Pay attention to your dreams and the symbols that are repeating as messages. Meditate on this symbol when you want to expand your healing, creative dreaming, and psychic abilities. 
The symbol is called the Vesica Pisces, and the Vesica Pisces is one of the most profound sacred geometrical symbols of ancient and modern times. A magical symbol of two intersecting circles. The name literally means the bladder of the fish in Latin. Now, after the psychic card, we get then we get the safe travel card, meaning that in order for us to grow, we have to let some things go, which is the ending of that cycle, that full moon. But your intuition is being increased by that psychic card, and now safe travel, meaning that you're going into a different direction. And if you were part of the full moon, moon and leo community ritual last night you saw that the wax drippings were always going an alternate route okay an alternate route not always to the past not always to the future but an alternate route new things new vibrations so safe travel tells us this and basically you can be leaving the area as well it says a trip a journey or even simple change of scenery is upon you maybe that's a change of scenery in your neighborhood or reorganizing your house or redecorating or leaving a job or leaving a situation ship meditate on this before you start a new adventure move to a new home or take a new trip and i got some news today by one of my consultants one of my business partners that this car is literally in my foresight so i'm grateful for that and the symbol is called the safe passage and it's a norse viking rune for safe passages on land or sea but also grants protection for those in the air and during astral travel and then to cap it all off then we have the new moon because again new things are coming hello so the new moon says this a new beginning just I just said it confirmation a new beginning a fresh start an auspicious time to start new projects drawing this card invites you to begin again meditate on this or the new moon to bring new energy into your life write a list of intentions dreams goals and wishes to support new direction and invite in the inspiration the symbol is the new moon the new moon in earth-based religions is a symbol of new beginnings and a fortunate time to plant new seeds for the future so let's recap Today is the full moon in Leo. We did the community ritual last night into the from the 27th into the 28th. Letting go of the old, ending of cycles, a completion of a situation. Things are being removed from your space, whether that's mentally, emotionally, physically, financially, psychologically, or spiritually, that no longer resonate with you anymore. And your increase of awareness will be coming in with the full moon. And that's naturally that what happens, which also is confirmed by the psychic card, meaning that your intuition is going full blast like pay attention pay attention pay attention don't overanalyze with your mind don't let your emotions get involved trust that gut trust that knowing trust your supreme authority trust your sovereignty trust your existence trust that knowing because again because we're ending things we're going to be moving in a new direction the safe travel card meaning that you are being protected during these new cycles during these new transitions during these new phases these new trips these new journeys whether it's outward journeying or inward journeying or these exactly even maybe buying a new home buying a new space getting into a new area of existence safe travel means you are protected and that new moon confirmation those new cycles we're ending one cycle and we're beginning of a new cycle so i love how this goes completely like maybe like a full circle moment and the way spirit has brought this together amazing confirmation 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 thank you for liking commenting and subscribing to my channel thank you for sharing this video with someone else who you feel is going to resonate with thank you for all the love the comment the prayers the donations the gifts and your support during my recovery during the second surgery i'm in a really great mood i took some time off so my back is feeling a little bit better but i'm grateful thank you for fucking with me thank you for always being there with me thank you for holding me down no matter what i love y'all without y'all i wouldn't be here and i'm so grateful that I am the vessel, the channel, and the messenger here to help you and you help me. I learn as much from y'all as y'all learn from me. It's called the cycle of life. Evolution, baby. Ending old, beginning new. Basta, vamos pa carajo. Let's keep it going, okay? The Almighty Pineapple LLC is trademarked, copyright, and registered with the United States government in several different classifications. Any duplication of my content without my permission is subject to legal recourse. So be careful with that, okay? And with that being said, vamos. Palante. We're gonna keep going. Y vamos pa arriba. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. We mean, what I meant was we're gonna move forward and we're gonna move higher. That's it. We keep growing and it's gonna come to us easily. It doesn't have to be hard. And speaking about that, things making things hard. You might want to check out this Saturday my webinar. Remember who the fuck you are webinar. Saturday, January 30, 2021 at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's all about manifestation and target points. And your target points could be a vision board, a Pinterest, your phone. I'm going to show you all the tips and tricks to create the life of your dreams easily. 
not difficult. It doesn't have to be difficult unless you make it difficult. Again, I'll show you more about that. If you're interested, go to the website, thealmightypineapple.com under webinars and purchase your ticket. I only have 100 seats and we're almost at capacity at this time. I am being told by my assistant we're at 80% capacity. So you might want to get your seat right away. And if you can't make it, don't worry. I got you. I will send you the recorded link after the live recording. I got you no matter what, but make sure you secure your seat ASAP. Again, if you like to work with me, please follow your intuition working with any spiritual advisor. Even if that means you do not work with me. Your intuition will guide you to who, what, when, where, and how to work with a spiritual advisors and practitioners thank you again so much for your love your support i love y'all and i'll see y'all later